table tennis. A lot of videos are showing how to be successful at table tennis and how to improve your game. But what if your aim is something different? I show you how to suck at table tennis and you may see one or two things that you're currently doing. First, focus on trick shots. The more difficult, the better. If you just see the slightest chance of doing a special shot, do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Be creative and try to pull off every single chance you get. Stop wasting any time with all sorts of training and make sure that every single time you play table tennis, you do nothing more but refine your trick shots. You get a bonus point if it's super showy and fancy and has no real practical reason at all. If your trick shot has some utility, don't be afraid to pull it off because in 95% of the points, you still make an unforced error. Power, highly recommended. Table tennis is the fastest sport and you want to hit every single ball with maximum speed. Don't even think about placement, technique or spin. If you get a ball with heavy backspin in your forehand, be a man or a girl or whatever and hit it as hard as possible. Focus on brute power. We are humans and the most powerful being on the planet. Be a winner and don't be a softie. Basics. There are some basic techniques which increase your overall ability. Grip, footwork or striking techniques are the most fundamentals which have a huge impact on every single hit you take in table tennis. Don't even dare to improve and develop them. By improving any of these techniques, you just create a long-term benefit. Mental issues. At the first sign of any mistake, let the failure drill and fester. Get frustrated and develop a sense of defeat by repeating to yourself, you are not good enough, you are not fast enough, you are too fat, you will never be enough and you will not win any game or point. You could even get aggressive with yourself and your surroundings. Throw, bite and hit the racket. Kick boundaries, tables or even your teammates. Side effect, by kicking other players, nobody wants to play with you anymore and you can improve yourself. Stay all the time negative and disappointed with yourself. Fitness. Table tennis is a very physically demanding sport, so it's very important that you neglect your physical development. Have a look at professionals like Ovcharov, Calderano, Ma Long and be the complete opposite. You don't want to have any muscles on your body. It only makes you faster, injuries are less likely and your strokes are more explosive. For your downhill performance, don't move too much in general and eat what you like. To be clear on that one, I don't mean the green and fancy stuff. Make sure to create performance degrading habits. Smoking and drinking are the most common ones. It's very important that you implement them in your daily life routine. A pro hint from me, hide these as good as possible so you can decrease your ability faster than others. Conclusion, try to reach the highest level of impotence so you may disappoint not only at table tennis. Injuries. Don't let your body stop you by using pain. Pay zero attention to any injuries whatsoever. Your body sends you signals, ignore them. If you would cure your body issues, you would be back in no time. But if you just continue and being dedicated, you could have problems for the rest of your life. Equipment obsession. Distract yourself by spending hours, days, weeks or even years with research on rubbers and rackets. Try as many combinations to decrease the development of feeling for your material and make it as hard as possible for yourself at the beginning of each competition. You need each game a new rubber and a new combination. There are so many possibilities and you need to know every single fucking one. You feel good with hard rubbers? Try soft ones. There might be a missing link in the endless universe of possibilities. Let the journey never end. It's much better to make research on Friday rather than going to the training hall. Key is also to be very lazy with your equipment. 
Don't even try to protect it from environmental influences. Throw it against the wall, use it as a meal plate and start with any cover with your shoes in your bag. Absolute pro tip here, be careless with your preparations. Use glue only partly on your rubber. Good contact between the rubber and the racket is poison for your unsuccessful ambitions. If you're following these steps, you will satisfy your brain by improving your material and you won't feel the need of improving important things like for example a forehand stroke or a backhand stroke. Friends, if you want to improve your game, just, just go off, don't, don't comment, don't subscribe to the channel, don't like it, just, just, just watch it and then adios muchachos. Adiós.